I'm the Mystic Ninja, and this is what you need to know for your collective tarot message. Whenever this message finds you, it is meant for you, okay? Remember, there is no such thing as a coincidence. Always listen to your intuition and use your discernment to take a resonance and leave what does it. First cards in this split is the Five of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. This is telling me that a lot of you guys have been going through a lot of change, right? Things have not necessarily been easy or ideal, but they are... Uh, leading you in the right direction, okay? You will be receiving help or aid financially if that's something that you have been concerned about in order for you to help others. So just know that you're always receiving a helping hand whether you may realize it or not. Everything is happening for your benefit because you have a greater purpose in this world and that is to help others. And in order for you to help others, you must first help yourself. And so a lot of you guys have been going through a lot of change, like a lot of fives, but you're leading on to... Uh, the five six right so five plus six is eleven okay so a new beginning this is leading towards a new beginning here and they're saying that no matter what you've been through thus far it's all happening in your favor for a reason okay the next three cards that i just pulled are the queen of cups the eight of wands and uh the world card here and the queen of cups is Basically, if you're watching this video, you most likely are a part of my collective, which tells me that a lot of you guys are empaths, right? A lot of you guys have been learning to love correctly and to use your energy in the most efficient way. And by that, I mean not giving it away. You guys have matured a lot emotionally and also in the way you treat others. You're not just letting people take advantage of you anymore you've learned to love yourself and others in a more mature and um, nurturing wholesome manner where it's like a win-win situation it's not just you um, giving your love away or giving your time and attention and affection away to somebody that doesn't appreciate it right you've learned to give it to yourself first as you guys know if you've been following me or watching my readings for a while unconditional love for self first okay and because you guys have been doing this and ascending in your love for self and therefore letting the overflow pour into others something is happening fast you're making a lot of change and it's it's coming quickly and what's coming quickly you may ask is this new cycle right you guys are closing off that old karmic cycle and Finally, getting realizations and revelations here with the moon card. Things are starting to come up to the surface. Things that you may have been suppressing or that have been hiding in the shadows. Release it. Purge it. Okay, just know that if you've been feeling a little bit uneasy or a lot of uh, chaotic energy, that is normal. There's a big influx of high vibrational energy that is basically giving you like a detox. It's cleansing you and it's, it's shaking things up to get rid of things that no longer serve you okay so this could be thoughts mindsets people situations places things like that just know again like the first two cards in the split said it's like it's not going to be um the easiest of transitions for those that have been going through it like you know that change is inevitable change is the only constant and you kind of just have to go with the flow okay but it is going to be happening sooner rather than later Oh, right. So, <laughs> Spirit is telling you guys to, while you're going through this transitional change and purge, to really protect your energy, okay, with the Hermit card here. If you need to, if you need to just take time to yourself or prioritize your me time, this is the time to do it and don't feel bad about it. If you are feeling fatigued or tired or have aches and pains or whatever, like listen to your body, drink more water, get rest, don't feel like you're being unproductive or lazy if you have to reschedule things or push some things back that are not um, like super high priority. Right now, Spirit's saying like you are the highest priority. You need to really just focus on yourself at this time, okay? And because you do this, you're basically calling in um, a partner here, right? We got the lover's card here. 
the more you focus on yourself, this is the ironic part of how things go when it comes to romantic love, is that you must have it for yourself first. You must be that love you wish to receive, right? So you must be what it is you wish to receive, whether it comes to love, abundance, whatever you have to be at first in order to match that frequency and so the more you focus inward and on yourself and purging and releasing of any old beliefs old programming things that no longer serve you right and start closing off that karmic cycle and starting this new one and shifting into this um mindset of helping yourself and therefore helping others in a healthy way you're going to transition from this um unpreferred change into more preferred change does that make sense so yeah whether <laughs> i just heard ready or not like um you are going to be attracting a lover when that is really they're not giving me timelines as always but the main message is focus on yourself and you're going to be attracting what it is you are so yeah that is all